All right, I said I was a sucker for these little kits on uh, eBay. Uh, here's one that's uh, pr pretty amazing. I bid a dollar on this thing and won. So I bought this for a dollar. I think it was three dollars to have it shipped, <laughs> but it was only a buck. So, what, four bucks total? Um, it is a Tesla coil. Um, it comes as a kit. Uh, the coil is pre-wound, um, but you have to uh, load the PC board, which has a couple transistors, and um, there's a primary uh, coil here, a single turn coil at the bottom, and a whole bunch of coils. Uh, the bottom of this coil is grounded. The top of that coil is just uh, floating out into space. Um, it has a phono jack, so you can get this thing to like make something glow or spit out sparks or something and then you can you can modulate it with audio and make it have a have a light show um, I haven't done that yet but I uh, have uh, powered it up so I know it works um, it's a uh, it's a cool little board I mean even for a buck it's nice to get the heat sinks and everything um, so uh, you can't go wrong um, so let me uh, let me see if I can't figure out how to Photograph this correctly. Um, let, me, uh, let me move out a bit. I'll give you the I'll give you the simple demo first. Uh, we need a, a a a power jack. So uh, I have a little adapter here. I'll uh, hook up some alligators to it, and we'll plug that in. Uh, and I'll turn on 12 volts. So it's got 12 volts going go to it. And yeah, I don't think you can see that. Come around at this side. I'll try to zoom in, and I'll try to get it to focus on what I want it to get it to focus on. So let me make sure I don't electrocute myself. Let's see how can I do that. Let me um, let me move something about the same distance away and try to focus on that. So I'll focus on a. Uh, let me put it into manual focus. Then let me try that. Uh, let's see here. Manual focus. Uh, okay, there we go. I can get a little bit closer. Uh, I think I can. There we go. I don't think I can get. Oh, good, 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 good. You can just see that. Let me see if I can get that quite in focus. Now, let me point with something that I can electrocute myself. Uh, so I'll use this Q-tip here. So if you can see right here, there's a little bit of energy sparking out. Let me uh, see if I can change the uh, change the exposure here. Uh, let me let me halt it. All right, I think that's better. Again, uh, right there's a little uh, flame coming out into space. I have a um, uh, a neon a neon bulb. It's not connected to anything. It's just wrapped around a little. Uh, uh, Q-tip, and if I get it close to the coil here, uh, it will it will go off. In fact, if I get it next to the coil coil, there's a whole bunch of uh, magnetism coming out of the out of the top of the top of the coil. That's pretty cool. Let me zoom down a little bit here. So yeah, ooh, lots of energy coming out of there. So there's no, no trickery here. It's just the just the neon bulb in space, and uh, that little bit of that tiny little bit of it's. You can smell the ozone in the air too. So I don't know how many volts that is, but it's quite a it's quite a bit. Um, I have another uh, neon bulb. And it has a phosphor coating on the inside. So, as we get over here, it glows as well. Let's get up next to the little sparker thing here. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, um, I'm scared to death to try to draw an arc off the thing. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll try that off camera. I don't want you to watch me electrocute myself. Um, but I think if we get this near ground, uh, or something at the same potential as what it believes to be ground, it's certainly not connected to Earth right now. It's floating above Earth. Um, 
I've seen some of these kits sell for around $15, and they come with like an old, some type of tube uh, that they just kind of have jammed in the top of the coil here and it glows, but uh, this is a dollar, so I think it's pretty cool, and I've got, I've got these anyway. Uh, I don't know if I can get a Nixie tube to glow or not. I don't have any way of holding one without electrocuting myself. But um, that little flame is fascinating. Let me let me try and see if I can get that to. Uh, okay, let's see if I can kill myself. I have a get this into the field of view here. I've got a banana jack, and it's in the ground side of the power supply. And let's see if we can bring it towards the arc here. And nothing happens. The arc extinguishes. How interesting. So I don't know what potential that arc's trying to get to. Let me put the uh, let me put the banana onto an earth ground and see how that works. There's earth. Okay. Again, let me try to get the banana jack over. No. Doesn't really seem to be doing anything. Hmm. So I don't know exactly what it's doing. But it is outputting a nice little uh a nice little blue arc into space. It's kind of a purple, purple color. I don't know if that shows on the, uh, on the uh, camera or not, but it's a real nice kind of a deep purple. And as we get things near it, things glow. Anyway, so I highly encourage you to try to kill yourself with uh, <laughs> Tesla coils. There's probably not a lot of current involved in this, but I'm sure it'll hurt if you touch it. Um, yeah, it's fun.